Hey everyone, today is the last day of April and we're going to check a look at that culvert pipe that was completely frozen a month back. Look at this, it probably relieved itself without any kind of help, it was just ice dammed at the end. People wanted me to take a look at it as soon as it was done. Nothing in front of it at all. If you guys remember, it was flooding over the road right here. But that's where I went in initially on night one, trying to free it, thinking it was a debris clog. But it did freeze. I'm either going to get soaked or not. Let's see. Nope. Oh, I got missed from that car, though. That blew two of me. Let's look on the other side. See there's water flowing down here, but that's coming from underneath the snow bank right over here. The culvert has not done anything yet. Still completely frozen. So that means the water, look how deep that was. Probably a good four feet. But this is where it's coming out. Right here next to this person's house. And it goes right into the swamp. Nice looking culvert, all clear. Amazingly, the waterways are still frozen. Look at that, that body of water is still completely frozen. Take a look at all this flooded road here. Goes on for quite a distance feel myself sinking. Let's turn around and take a look at the culvert. Culvert's up on top of this hump. It's in the highest possible spot. So it may not even be clogged, just installed improperly. So let's see if there's a blockage or just a stupid design. It's right around here somewhere. It's gotta be right here. Oh, there is actually some stuff in there. There is some stuff in there. But on the other hand, it doesn't want to flow. Something stupid with this culvert. It's also a plastic culvert. Plastic culverts I don't think ever should be used on roads like this. This morning alone, I've seen dozens and dozens of ones that are crushed, causing a giant divot in the road. These plastic culverts are a problem. Take a look at all this shale rock here. You can tell it was muddy the way it crowned on the sides. This is a good place to get a flat tire, but it solved the mud problem. This road was super bad one year ago, sinking into it like wet concrete and bottoming out. Take a look at this erosion. A ton of water was coming across here at one point. We're gonna go and see if there's any blockage in the culvert pipes. They look to be all clear, and look at that. Got a whirlpool, this thing is sucking so hard. This could be a dangerous one to get stuck against. Got a great big whirlpool. Actually, this is that same culvert I showed a few years ago. It's got so much force, it'll suck rocks through it. Watch this. Yep, I could hear it, it gets sucked right in. 
ton of force going through these. They're just undersized. That's why it went over the road. These two are moving a ton of water. Look at how rough winter can be. You know what causes these giant holes? There's probably a rock underneath each one. In the winter time, the frost heave pushes it up. And then when it settles back down, it leaves a big hole. Yet another stretch of flooded road. What's wrong with this culvert pipe? Here it is. It's barely open. It's been thrown in by the plow, it looks like, pushing over mud and slurry during the winter time. Uh, directly across. I don't know. We can probably get the rake out and give it a shot. Not too confident. I hear so many birds. There's a flock of thousands of them. Little sparrows, it looks like. Look at this damage to the road. They even put some wood there to get their trucks through. Let's give it a little rake. I think it's most likely crushed in the ground because the it's so soft. Yet we have another flood right here, leaving really bad damage to the road. It's so deep, just drove through that giant crevice and turned around. Got a giant pile of moose balls and the culvert. See how spread wide it is? It's crushed. It's crushed so badly. Nothing can be done. That would not happen with a metal culvert. Not nearly as easily. It's amazing that the logger stopped. Big heavy trucks would crush right through that mud and destroy a plastic culvert. Now right here, this mud is something else. When I just turned around here, I slid quite a bunch. It's like you're driving on ice right here. This mud is extremely slippery. Yep, see my tracks right there? Can you tell that I slid a bunch? Uh, I guess not really. See that giant crack in the road? I'd say half of the roads we're driving on have this large crack in the center. That's from the winter time. As the road freezes, it expands. And when it thaws, it doesn't go back where it was. It leaves a gap as it shrinks. Think of the each side of the road as a plate in the earth and it's just, it moved and now it leaves a big crack. The road is so soft right here. Can't see it here because it fell in but my wheel went down quite a bit against that culvert. The road is so soft here. What do we got up with this culvert today? Where is this? Big surprise, it's all clear. So this one's actually a metal one. All yeah, right, there's idiot with excavator damage on the end of it. You see it's hopping up through the little hole and they have it flagged, it's gonna be fixed. Almost got stuck, pulling over a little bit too far. But right here, we're at a culver pipe, this is where we unclogged that culvert titled Unclogging While Angry Beaver Watches. And I can see that over here either melted or they cleared this out. I'm actually surprised. I expected this to be frozen up. Most of the culverts around here are, but there's actually a good amount of water. So we might wanna go and check this out. 
I gotta figure out exactly where it is. It's under there. It's flowing good. We'll check this out in the spring. Hey everyone. We were here exactly one month ago. There was a massive snowbank here, a couple feet high. This beaver pond was completely frozen over. But now it's finally spring. And everything is starting to melt again. The water is actually relatively low. A lot of times in the past it'll cross over, it floods out over there. The culvert's actually flowing a bit. We're going to see if we can get this flowing any better. A lot of times the beavers will bring this thing to a halt. Just showing they're not quite active yet. But they're definitely going to be starting to come out and be more active. They don't hibernate, but they almost stop production of dams, all that kind of stuff in the winter time. So this is what we got for the culvert. Not much against it. It looks like stuff that just occurred over natural flow, maybe? No. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That didn't make a flow difference at all, moving that thing away. Ooh, this culvert has some kind of internal problem. I'm gonna say this thing needs to be replaced. Look at the thickness of the ice. There's still five inches of ice there. And yet tomorrow's May. Wow. Anyways, I think in the winter time something very heavy came here. Maybe this spring. Somehow the end of this pipe got pushed down. So, it may have been like that before. Because we always made a big difference. But we always started from zero flow to about what you're seeing now. So there's actually not a problem. But the issue is this ends low. That ends low. There's a crown in the culvert. Low at both ends, high in the middle. And that's a problem. But it's actually clear since the beavers haven't became active yet. There's a little bit of stuff there, but that just floated. So we're good. We'll see these guys in the summertime. Take a look at all that water coming out of the ground. Dripping. They just put this culvert in last year. Kind of shocked to see it not working correctly. Oh, what a shocker. It's a plastic one with zero clog. It got crushed by winter. Barely anything coming out of it. Because these plastic culverts, they crush. A lot of times a frost heave will go down through it rather than up because it's way easier. Look at how messed up the road is. Look down inside there. Not sure if you can see a depth of how bad this is. These bumps are quite violent when you hit them. The whole road is messed up by frost heaving. Take a look at this culvert underneath these logs that probably fell off a log truck. Look at that. Bugs really like this one. I want to see the culvert. Where is it? Oh, now we got a whirlpool going. Cool. That culvert's working well. But the end of it was hit by something. Maybe by getting these out of the way, we can improve it a bit. If we can get out of there faster, it might be able to get in faster. Water suddenly turned dirty from those logs I turned over. Now, clearing the end right there. Yes, look. Made it go in a lot better. It can get out faster, so it can go in faster. Pretty great. 
Uh, I sunk pretty deep here. Didn't like that. Look at this. Culvert torn up. Is it a piece of that one or is there another culvert pipe? I think it's a piece of the one further down the road. Got ripped up. This culvert is a piece of junk. See all the mini sinkholes all over it? This thing has holes all over it. So it's washing out, causing mini sinkholes. Just look where it's entering. I think it's so fascinating coming out right after the spring thaw and seeing this stuff. Now this one right here, I could tell you was almost definitely done by the plow. This is not an excavator. Just take a look at it. The whole bottom half of the pipe has lost its integrity totally. And you can see how far over the plow went. It looks like the plow is responsible for this one peeling it up. This one cannot be blamed on any excavator operator. If it was way down be below the reach of the plow, then it's a definite yes. But this right here, to me, is almost 100% by accident by the plow driver. You can't see what's under there when you're plowing feet of snow in the middle of winter. It's nobody's fault. Unless you want to say it's not put in deep enough. What a mess. Look at this erosion damage. The stuff you're seeing on the edge is mostly erosion, groundwater seeping up, and a mixture of frost heaves. Take a look at this mess we have. That culvert's having a real bad day. This is quite a beautiful road. They use red shale rock, and especially on that white snow, it looks very nice. Hey everyone, today is May 2nd, 2022, and we're back here this spring at this culvert pipe. It looks like it's flowing pretty well, doesn't it? Well, it's got a bunch of debris in front of it. We're gonna get it going even better. We gotta come across the street and unclock this culvert pipe. This culvert pipe is blocked by a little bit of debris. Does not look like the beavers are active yet, but they could be. They could be. There's no ice here on their little swamp. It's completely thawed out. See going down here, there's a problem. But since last time we were here, they definitely did some more clearing, trying to widen the road. Um, let's get going with this. So this will be our third time unclogging this culvert. The first time it was in perfect condition. Second time we came by, you see idiot with excavator damage. No excuse for that, it's the exiting end. You can clearly see it. There's never been a beaver dam down below it. We're gonna go to the other side of the road now and unclog it. Okay, this will be a very, very quick one.
All right, that one was easy. Only took about 30 seconds to get that one lasting a lot more. Now the water is going to slowly drop back to where it should be. Let's go check out the other side of the road. Coming over to the other side of the road. Yeah, that's definitely going probably twice its capacity as when we arrived. Now, multiple sets of moose tracks. You can see right here, water was going over the road a lot. Why? Is this culvert plugged? Wide open. That would indicate it's crushed somewhere underground. Typical plastic culvert. You can see that water down the road crossing over. That's because of a culvert pipe. We're gonna see if it's clogged, but by the evidence on the road before we look at it, I believe it's a plastic crushed culvert, or it could be a metal one with holes in it. That would cause this kind of damage. It's down here beneath the snowbank. But the other side's clear enough for us to see what it is. I hope. That water's so murky. Where's the end of it? Maybe try getting the rake out, I guess. Not a surprise. It's plastic. I can feel the ribs and based on the vibrations it made, it's plastic. Hey everyone. Right here we have a bunch of water. Because of a clog culvert, maybe it's collapsed. But by the deep depth of it, I don't think it's collapsed. I don't think a vehicle would have collapsed one with four feet of dirt on it. Anyways, it's causing a flood like a half a mile down the road. It's the same swamp, it wraps around. There's a lot of water here. Judging by the trees, it's not supposed to be flooded. This was recently flooded by storm debris or a beaver. This is the culvert right here. What are we seeing? Can we hear anything? Yes, we can hear stuff there underneath the snowbank. <clears throat> There's the culvert. There you are. All right, let's get the rake and get this thing open. It's a plastic culvert. This is one of the few times I guess it's all right to use a plastic culvert. It's deep enough in the ground, it's not going to get crushed. And... The other side, does it come out way over there or is it right here? Let's investigate. All right, let's go down here. Woo! Awesome echo in this area. So, yeah, it sounds like the culvert's right here. Yeah, I see the end of it. Woo hoo! Awesome, you saw that whole thing went down. Yeah. 
that actually be good because once we get this thing running this should uh, water shouldn't break away all the snow yep Woo! Woo! all right let's start getting this thing open this looks like it's beaver related not from this year but last year Beavers put a lot of rocks in here. Yes, beavers do move rocks. If they have them available, they'll use it to strengthen their dam. This is an old one, a lot of soil. I can literally see inside, that's so cool. I'll show everyone in a minute. Let's show you what's inside. See that? So this culvert was blocked, but not by much. So this is definitely not what's causing the issue down the street. But as far as I can tell, there's no other culverts around here which is weird. This area right here, I can tell, usually doesn't have water. See by the trees? But yet, it must be a spring thaw issue because the culvert's here. But then again, there's a beaver dam in the way. So, maybe it's just a very fresh beaver pond that they started back in the fall. So here's where the water's crossing further down the road. And there's no other culverts, except that one that was like a half a mile back. No other ones around here. Now a little further down the street, we have a lot more water. Now this can't still be related to that place up there. The elevation loss is just too great. Road is very soft here as a result. And I'm wondering, is this a culvert? No, it's not. They just threw a little bit of gravel here because this must have been where it was coming through. They didn't even put a culvert in. We got some moose tracks. That's a beautiful sunset, right everyone? And take a look at that really beautiful moose down there. Beautiful moose. Let's see if we can see that guy if we run down here. No, it noticed me and it ran right into the woods. Hey everyone, today we're at this culvert. Take note of the amount of flow. And now we're gonna go across the street. 
You can tell by the cuts in the pavement this culvert's been replaced since the road is paved. I can see some clumps of debris. It's been unclogged before. I even see some pieces of PVC pipe. They used to have some kind of beaver proof structure until they put this here. We can clear this real fast. Get this thing to drop back a bit. Yeah, look at all the pieces of their beaver proof structure. See all those posts? That was a failed product. Now it's in ruins. Woo! Much better, much better. That clog was not beaver related. Just recent storms have loosened up a bunch of this grass. It has floated over and caused the clog. Now let's go see how it's doing on the other side of the street. Much more water. Take a look at all that grass that we just sent through. And there it goes, continuing down into the next swamp and beaver pond. Does anybody else think this sign is weird? The orange sign here says pavement ends. But it doesn't interfere with traffic at all. Up here, it's not in the lane. It's a small portion of the breakdown lane. Right here. That sign is way overkill. It only protrudes maybe 18 inches or two feet into the shoulder. Doesn't even affect the road. Kind of strange. I've seen many things worse than this and they're not even have a sign. It's been about one month since we've been at this culvert. That's the beaver dam we removed from the inside. Water level has dropped back a ton. It's a bunch of sludge building up here behind that pile of sticks. But yet the beavers have not started building again. Right here is about the normal level of the pond. You can see it's well below the road. No, bun, no mud problems, no frost heaving problems. Beavers have built back zero. Which is a big surprise. They're just not down here right now. Well, they should start up again once we get some warmer weather. They've been a problem here for many years. We're building pressure behind it, so it's gonna get better. I think everything's out now, but I'm gonna go back in and check it. Oh yeah, we got a lot of current. This bridge is over the Connecticut River between Vermont and New Hampshire. Right now we're in Vermont showing this. The state has just put this pile of sand to try to stop people from parking here. Because what people do is they pull over here and they're dumping stuff. Check out all this garbage. May not look like much here from the road, but there's a trail to my left and a trail to my right. We're gonna look down this trail first. You can see the massive amount of stuff people are throwing down here. Furniture, tires, Tupperware bins filled with trash. You see crushed concrete, bricks. A lot of really gross stuff in such a beautiful little ravine. Got a nice trickling stream with really nice moss covered rocks. Nice green bushes. But yet people have to wreck it. 
and the trail to the left walking through all this invasive Japanese knotweed if you look down here there's a bunch of tires and an entire car we're gonna go take a look at that car is kind of cool looks like that car was probably thrown down here decades and decades ago that thing is so old probably close to being a hundred year old car Woo. really not much to it rusted away I see roadkill yep that's what that is probably a raccoon Whoa, that mud's slippery. Whoa, those rocks are slippery. Still got a shiny bumper. And I'm going to make my way back up now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 